when when we empower others we lift others and by collaborating with each other in the different spaces together we get to learn from the other from other people and then we get to lead better my name is Priscilla Garces and I would like to start by thanking you for the recognition of being the woman's hero for Union Township. And I would like to start off by telling a little bit about myself and the, my story. I was born three months premature, which resulted in permanent vision loss, but that hasn't really stopped me from accomplishing many of the goals that I have set forth for myself all throughout my life. Because each time you grow, you start to learn what your purpose is. And um, uh, I've had so many role models who have inspired me and um, I managed to have an education, learn Braille. I managed to be on different boards. Like for example, I am part of uh, various organizations and boards, including the Union County Persons with Disability Board, which I am a member of. Uh, climate reality and uh, boards like emerge the, as the founding cabinet committee member and it is it is an honor to be here and to be recognized for women's month so many so many accomplishments i've had throughout my life but the most notable ones were very recent accomplishments in terms of uh, my per my own personal work with the community and um, one of the highlights is when I organized an international panel in collaboration with UNESCO for Peace and it's a panel focusing on people with disabilities and how that has been impacted in the world and another one is when I spoke for uh, World Women's Federation for World Peace and it's I spoke about the vision of the future in, in, the, in a panel, which was an international conference, which honors the anniversary of the Organization of Women's Federation for World Peace. Those are the two most notable and recent accomplishments that I have. And I have so many others that I feel so accomplished. And I feel that I, could, I have achieved throughout my personal life despite my disability and challenges because even though you have any kind of impairment, whether it's visual, whether it's hearing, whether it's uh, invisible disability, uh, it, it always can be turned into a different ability because at the end of the day, that's we know how to operate, but in a different way. The advice that I would give to young girls who are looking up to aspire for big dreams is, first of all, never give up. Be more, be confident in yourself. You know, one of the things that I would like to mention too is, one, I've al always, when I was little, I had many role models and, and um, one of the things is that parents should be able to instill confidence and positivity in in the little in the girl because once you start off by affirming a positive values and they can be able to really uh, be more sure of themselves you know have that confidence so that they can achieve um, another thing that I would like to say is always count your blessings every single day when you get up because you never know what life throws at you you never know if maybe one day you have a challenge you are fine and then the next day you have a a challenge that can really turn your life upside down so always always appreciate what you have have gratitude for what you have and also, another thing that I would like to mention is, one, you have to be able to 
have that resilience to cope with life's adversity. Well, there are so many people who have inspired me throughout my life. And, but one of them, one of them I would say, and I, it comes to mind is my mom. Um, she's one of the people who has supported me ever since I came onto this earth. Uh, and even continues me to support. She does, she has always worked so hard to make me a, into the strong woman that I am. And um, she has taught me so many great values, leadership, how to be a mentor for others, you know, how to have gratitude for everything that one has. Um, I would like to say that, um, that mothers, teachers, mentors, be surrounded with those people because they are the ones who can shake you up and lift you up and empower you. And, you know, that is one of the things that I would like to say is that um, there are so many people who can inspire you, but the most important person that, that, it, that would always inspire one of us is our mothers because they are the ones who really have that courage to shape us into, into women who can really be more confident and strong. You know, throughout history, women had really fought for their rights. They have really fought to be included in the spaces, in different spaces, whether it's voting, whether it's uh, in, in education, whether it's in different areas. And to me, to me, Women's History Month is about recognizing all of the achievements that women have done because of their tireless work, because of their talents, because they were able to really shape what the future holds, because they were able to lead others and share their wisdom and advocate for the different rights of other people. And it's, a, it's about, to me, it's about sharing our experiences and our wisdom because each one of us have a story and you know as women throughout history we have really fought for so much and women's history month is to honor those women who had really made a difference well you know for me at first when i i remember getting that email um I didn't expect it. It was, but it was a pleasant surprise. But really, I feel I feel honored to be recognized for Women's History Month because, let's put it this way, it's it's a motivation, but it's a motivation to do more, not only for oneself, and but for the community, because it's all it's all about thinking about other people. It's all about thinking of what their needs are and advocating and being a voice for those people who don't have it. That is the most important part is that recognition serves as a pathway to that says, okay, let's continue to do the work, but, but amplify the voice of other people who don't have it because there are so many, so many women, so many people who have different disabilities that can be turned into different abilities. And you have to be a voice, guide them through the mentorship, be able to lead because leading is about taking the action, not only bringing like no, not only bringing people into the different events or spaces, but also the simple actions that you take, that is leading. So 
it's a continuation of having that commitment to keep on leading and making a difference. To each, each woman has a unique story. And it is important that all of us as women share it. And there are a lot of different ways now with the, with the digital platform. People can be able to share their story. Uh, now with the, med with the different media, even speaking at events and speaking and speaking at the events, I am going to be speaking at a couple of other events by sharing my story and I and with the people with different organizations. And it's important that each one of us share our unique experience, uh, whether it's through social media, whether it's through doing speeches at different conferences or even even writing even sharing by doing a blog or or just letting other people know about your story because it, this is a perfect theme this is the perfect theme of telling our story is to help connect when you tell a story you connect with other people's emotions you empower other people so that this way, you know, they can follow in the same footsteps. Because each woman who goes and tells her story, she can connect other, other women in different levels and spaces. And then they could also share that same story with other generations, with other young girls. And then they look up to them and then they could become more empowered to do the same by leaving a legacy continuing with their mission because everybody in in this world is born with a purpose and a mission but once but only with years of wisdom and experience you get to know what your purpose is and that purpose keeps growing as you grow in life thank you